Penny 3 has arrived on early access and luckily I was one of those people who spent my entire day robbing motherfuckers. Got you, I got you. Damn, bitch, chill. Without any bias, I wanted to give my unfiltered opinion and initial reaction to Payday 3. For those of you that have questions or concerns and are still on the fence of whether or not to buy Payday 3, hopefully this review can answer some of those questions and address some of your concerns. Keep in mind that this is just my opinion and my thoughts on the initial release of the full game. I just wanted to leave an honest review to hopefully help some of you who might not be entirely sure on whether or not to spend your hard-earned money on Payday 3. Three. Match making error, boys. But before we jump into it, do me a solid and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, support your boy. It really helps me out a lot. And that shit is free. The shit is free. Anyway, upon loading up, I was instantly prompted with the option of doing a short tutorial or training exercise, which I thought, why not? Should we play the tutorial? Yeah, 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 fuck it. Even being a Payday veteran, why not fully immerse myself into Payday 3 and play every piece of playable content the game has to offer. This training exercise basically walks you through everything you'll need to know if you aren't familiar with the mechanics of Payday games. Things like where on the screen objectives are located, what ammo and medic bags look like, and other really basic information a new player might need to know before jumping into action. From the very first bullet I fired, I instantly felt Payday 2 vibes. Although it might have been just my settings, the movement felt a little slow and stiff and took a little getting used to, but the gunplay and the quotes upon killing enemies gave me nostalgic Payday 2 flashbacks. Right off the bat, the improvement to graphics was obvious. The subtle details, lighting, shading, and vibrant colors really snapped me out of that Payday 2 vibe I was feeling and brought me into this new Payday universe that the game was proposing. But it was also a little underwhelming for a game 10 years in the making. From afar, the graphics seemed really in-depth and crisp, but upon a much closer review, it's easy to see why a lot of players aren't particularly wowed by Payday 3's quote-unquote new and improved graphics. But graphics have never been a strong suit for the Payday franchise, it's always been about the action and tactical gameplay, so after completing my tutorial training, I was ready to dive in. We already There's did that one. Transport. Having already played the No Rest for the Wicked Heist during Payday 3's open beta about a million times on repeat, I wanted something new and fresh. I wanted to see what the game could really offer in terms of new ideas and gameplay. As I clicked on the play button, I was instantly met with a rather empty heist choosing menu. I have to keep it 100 with you guys, I'm not a big fan of the simplified online matchmaking menu of Payday 3. In Payday 2, when choosing to play online, you were met with an entire map showing open parties, what heist they were performing, and what difficulty they were playing on. It even went as far as to show you what tactic they were preferring to play, loud or stealth, and even if they were in-game or waiting in the lobby. In Payday 3, it seems more oversimplified to the point where it's rather empty and dry, giving you just two options after choosing a heist, and those options being if you'd like to play publicly or privately and which difficulty you prefer. From there, the game will matchmake you with other players searching for the same chosen preferences or already in-game with those preferences. But after all is said and done, that's just a small gripe I have. And since I didn't buy Payday 3 for its amazing lobby and menu options, I chose a brand new heist and within seconds I was loading into my very first match of Payday 3. This shit had me all kinds of hype. Upon loading in, I felt the perfect mixture of a franchise I know and love, along with the feeling of something new, a map I haven't already memorized all the objectives for, or where every enemy could spawn in from, or where every escape point was going to be, it felt completely new. After tweaking my settings a little bit and alerting everyone on the fucking map to my presence, it was time for all that action I had been waiting for. The action and gunplay is everything a Payday fan could ask for. Even new players will find themselves wanting to prolong a heist just to keep killing and shooting everything. The new movement mechanics helped the game to feel different than any other Payday title and certainly reminded you that you were playing a brand new game. I found myself sliding every chance I could and vaulting objects even when I didn't have to. Even though the gameplay itself felt incredibly similar to Payday 2, where you escort or loot something, fight off assault waves of police, it felt as if way more was on the line or at stake since your health and armor never passively regenerated over time. It made the entire experience feel suspenseful and your decisions more carefully thought over, calling for you to take cover, drop armor bags and medical bags at precise moments, and even utilizing grenades more than I'd ever found myself using them in previous Payday series. 
The objectives were clear and concise by not only being written in the top corner of your screen, but also with your contractor verbally reminding you of what you need to do as well as highlighting where specific objects or items can be found in order for you to progress through a heist. As the heist came to an end, I'd racked up a reasonable amount of money and XP, which in the previous titles was just about all that you could ask for. But that wasn't all I gained from completing a heist. I also gained weapon XP, skill points, and research points towards my next unlockable skill, along with progress towards completing certain challenges or achievements. I'd say that Payday 3 makes you feel way more rewarded for putting your life on the line. In Payday 2, leveling up almost felt effortless and at times too easy or even boring, with one heist sometimes leveling you up 10 to 20 levels. After playing a few more heists and garnering some fat racks, I decided to explore what else the game had to offer in terms of spending my stolen cash. The first place I'd find myself shopping, as most players will probably find themselves doing as well, was at the weapon vendor, customizing and modifying my gun for my next run. Even going as far as designing and creating my own personal skin with an assortment of different colors, designs, and stickers. I also spent some time window shopping through the various masks and cosmetic apparel that the game offers. Although most of it was locked behind a level wall, it definitely motivated me to play more in order to unlock some of it. While others felt like a cop-out or a complete lack of creativity where a specific suit at a certain level would also be a reward at an even higher level just with a different color to it. Overall, in my honest opinion, Payday 3 is definitely worth its standard price. At $39.99, the game certainly delivers on a decent amount of content, replayability, and action-packed fun. Anything beyond the standard edition I feel like would be a completely personal decision. You'd be paying extra money for future content and not anything that's currently out or playable. So if the aliens came down tomorrow and destroyed humanity, you would have spent 40 extra dollars on DLCs that you never got to play. So if I had to put Payday 3 on a scale from 1 through 5, I'd give it a solid 4. It's definitely worth the price. It delivers on everything you would expect a Payday game to deliver on, and it certainly sits on the throne as far as heisting games. But I also think it could have done a lot more in terms of content and cosmetics. But if I know Payday, with this as its foundation, the next few years could turn this game into a complete banger. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of Payday 3 so far, what you guys like, what you guys don't like, and don't forget to hit the like button for your boy, subscribe to the channel if you're new, I'd really appreciate that. Also, don't sweat the small stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video.